Hi guys, this is the third video of the Golang and CSRF uh, Security Enhancement Project tutorial series. In the first two videos, we had done quite a bit. We did main.go, models, random strings, server.go, and I had to go for a meeting, so I had to you know, stop the video there. So in this third video right now, uh, we'll start. Uh, so I'm back from the meeting now, so we can start working on our other files. So let's see. Um, I think what we can do is we can work on uh, maybe this could be a little challenging right now in it database and uh, you know in it JWT can be quite complex so um, because we'll have to set up the files db.go files and all those we'll have to set up so instead of that let's work on our middleware right so uh, which is basically this uh, function new handler function let's work on this needs to be in our middleware uh, file. So let's go to our middleware.go and here you say package middleware and you'll import a few things. Um, so I'll come to that in a minute and but here but you'll say new handler which is basically HTTP handler this is what it's going to return from here so so I'm going to use use a package uh, for this it's going it's going to be called Alice and I'll explain to you what it does it's quite a simple straightforward package so you'll see just nas slash Alice and we'll return Alice dot new recover handler and auth handler dot then func logic handler all right so whenever we want to recover from uh, golang panicking we'll have a recover handler function and we'll also have a hot auth handler function for our restricted logout and delete user uh, logic and then we'll have our logic handler as well so I think let's start building our logic handler first and then let's start um, you know, working on the other files or, or the other uh, functions, right? So let's create our logic handler. Since we're not using any package, we're using the default uh, HTTP package. We'll have to write response writer comma. request so we have w which is the response and r which is the request request will always be a pointer because uh, request is something that's you're, you're getting from the user and we're going to switch the url path so we'll say r dot url dot path okay now there will be multiple cases as in which URL that the user is on. So he could be on the restricted path. He could be on login. And instead inside of login, uh, we'll have two methods. So we'll say switch r dot method we'll say case get and we'll also have case post okay and then and after your login route uh, so actually inside your login route you'll also have a default a default case okay and outside this you'll have register route 
and inside register also you'll switch the method if it's get or if it's post right and here also you will have a default route default case and then off, outside this you'll have so these are all in the same line now right restricted login register and then you'll have logout slash logout more precisely and then you have case slash delete user and at the end for all of these there will be a default case as well here l is missing all right so this is like the general structure that we need to be uh, working on now there are a couple of more functions we'll have in this file so i think it's just good to uh, write their outlines so that uh, you know, later on at least we won't forget it so here obviously you know that you need a recover handler so you'll say recover handler right http dot handler this is going to basically help you recover from a panic situation and if you've used uh, node.js you already probably know what next does you know and um, then you have your auth handler so we'll say func auth handler next http dot handler http dot handler okay so you'll have your auth handler and then you have your logic handler which we've already defined then we have our uh, we'll have a function called nullify token cookies i'll show you i'll tell you why we uh, use this and um, just wait a while i'll also explain to you what next will do in case you have no idea what it does all right and this function obviously will take uh, the response writer and R, which is the request and you'll also have set auth and refresh cookies this again is going to taken a couple of things and it's going to have a function definition so let's leave uh, this outline like this and then the last function that we need to create an outline like this for is func grab csrf from request it just takes in the request http dot request and it turns a string and it'll have some definition so um, I know you don't have any context as to why I'm creating these functions and you don't know uh, what I'm going to do these, with these functions but I just wanted to keep them out here just to create these outlines so that we don't forget you know in the whole process we don't forget uh, you know that we have to build these functions so just bear with me if you're not understanding anything right now don't worry I'm going to explain everything so you have log here you have HTTP we need HTTP and we need log to log out errors right and then we'll have our time package we need our strings package and we need our made the my jwt uh, file so how are we going to get it we'll say github.com slash akhil slash golang csrf project slash server slash middleware slash my jwt 
The other thing you need is the DB. You need access to the DB. So how are you going to do it? You'll say github.com because you'll have to call DB functions from this file, right? This is the middleware file, which is kind of like the middle layer between your database and your server. So you'll have to have access to your database from here. And we'll say golang csrf project slash db. That is it. So these are all the things that you will need in this file. In our case, next is just a HTTP handler. And it and basically this recover handler function helps you to recover in case of a panic. If Golang panics and the system crashes, it uh, instead it gives you a 500 error and the system won't crash and it'll just recover, all right? And uh, <coughs> the benefit of making next a HTTP handler is then you can start using uh, different HTTP functions like serve HTTP and handler func, you know, all of those things, right? So just check out uh, serve HTTP if possible uh, in the documentation, HTTP document. And just check out handler funks as well, serve HTTP. Everything will make more sense to you. And from this, uh, let me also c complete this function so that it'll give you just a little more context. So we'll have to create a function which takes w, which is HTTP dot response writer comma r which is http dot request and here you have um, so here's the function that we want to uh, automatically call itself but we're saying defer because we wanted to call um, to be called at the end of this functions lifecycle i'm sure by now you already know what defer is if you've seen all of my other tutorial cities you already are aware about defer and you've already seen this type of uh, a syntax which basically shows that the function is going to call itself function doesn't have a name it's an anonymous function anonymous self-calling function if you are java if you are from a javascript background you already know what an iffy is this is exactly what it is so here we'll say recover and if there's an error Then you'll say log dot panic recovered and you'll print out the error and you'll give out an error which will be a five hundred will be five hundred error. So you'll say w, which is uh, the response. You're sending a response here, and HTTP dot status text is 500 comma 500. And here you'll have next dot serve HTTP w comma r, and you'll return from. handler func so this is basically what you're returning here right a HTTP handler again is what you're returning from this function and now let's work a little on our auth handler I can spend about two three more minutes and then I have to rush so let me um, create the basic outline so here you'll just have a function which will take w which is a HTTP response writer and you'll take r which is http dot request and in there you'll again switch uh, the path just like you did here okay so the first case will be if it's restricted comma if it's logout route comma it's if it's delete user okay. and 
then you'll just have a default route default case so when this is the case then you'll need to check for JWT and a default route where the routes, routes are not protected then uh, you don't need to check for the JWT token right that means all the logic, all the logic that will come here now <coughs> will just be around um, checking the, the token basically all right so that's the outline for auth handler and then we have a logic handler we've already seen that the outline and then we have our nullify token cookies um, this one i think i can just uh, do a couple of things here before i go let's have auth cookie here which is http.cookie as you've seen in the demo we'll, we'll send cookies right so the first cookie is a token and the value and then you have expires time.now dot add so here we're using the time package Hour and comma HTTP only is true and after that you'll just use the HTTP dot set cookie function with a response writer and pass the auth cookie to it and then you can also have a refresh cookie You've already seen it, right? In Postman, you've already seen uh, both the cookies. So one, we had the auth cookie and the other one was the refresh cookie, which is again of type HTTP cookie and it'll have a name. The name is refresh token comma value and it has an expires time dot now dot add minus 1000 multiply by time dot hour comma http only true and then you can set http dot set cookie multiply by double comma percent refresh cookie And we'll continue this function um, in the next video as well. So <coughs> I'll, I'll uh, just finish this video here, and in the next video we'll just take off from here. We'll create our uh, you know auth cookies here, and we'll nullify them. So I'll explain to you the logic, entire logic again. And thank you for watching, and see you in the next episode. Uh, do subscribe to this channel so that you don't know when the next video of the series comes out. And see you.